Clementine? Clem? Clementine left. Remember? Oh, there she is. Oh, this is where they went. For some reason, I thought they were Molly? Us. Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. I didn't avoid it. I just wanted to... I think you have something that belongs to me. The, the pride thing, yeah. Nice tool, by the way. I hope she doesn't die. I like her. Lee, thank God you're back. Why? Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Kill him. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Um, I trust you. He's not gonna do anything suspicious when he's by himself. Clementine. Clementine? Great, this is upstairs. Um, it's like... Downstairs, nothing. That's the door to the doctor, right? Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. <laughs> okay, so which room should I go first? This is gonna be interesting, I guess. Clementine, you here? Don't close the door behind Clem? you. It's like a haunted house, man. It's just freaking me out. Ain't got time for that. Alright, so we're not gonna explore. We're just gonna look around. Hello? Why are you worried about Clementine all of a sudden? Oh, shit. What are you doing? Oh, you know. Just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Okay. I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Alright, I'm just gonna find Clementine then. Molly? Don't be mad at her. I told you, that girl isn't with me! Go ask your buddies and quit bothering me! Alright, let's go downstairs. I feel like this is a test that how fast you can talk to Clementine, right? Clementine? You up there? Maybe she's not downstairs. That's probably it. She's not downstairs. Don't see her out there. Okay, I guess I'll check every room then. Clem? Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? I'll have time to rest later. Well, you should move it. Clem's drawings. 
But where is she? She drew a picture of me burying the dog. I mean, burying that little kid. Clementine? Why would she be hiding under the desk? The music is freaking me out right now, like... Clem, you in here? <laughs> I'm checking for Clementine in there, okay. Don't see her anywhere out there. Uh, no walkers either, though. I guess that's Doesn't good. look like she's in here. I guess that's good. Okay, maybe I have to literally check everything. And that's the whole point. Oh, there's nothing here either? Okay. So downstairs, the answer? Can I go downstairs? I can. And he went downstairs pretty quick. Clementine! Hey! Come out! Please! Dang, he's really worried. Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? It was on the table. Found it. You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. I think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Calm down, man. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? <laughs> Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Okay. Then how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Exactly. Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kinda crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. She went out, huh? I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Okay. But I look out the window. Right? Clementine? Clementine! Yeah, I think she went out to find that guy in the, on the walkie-talkie, so... Oh wait, maybe this is it. Maybe she got kidnapped. Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. This is really scary. Clementine, are you inside? She's not. The music is making me very successful. Okay, you can't get out here. Wait, so she's not outside then? I don't know. The only thing that's left for me to check is the grave, but. It's not gonna do anything, is it? Nothing. Okay. What the fuck? Get your gun out, dude. How are you inside there? What were you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found! It's a boat. 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 Is it a boat? Is it? 
Holy shit, it's a boat. Alright, nice twist there. Still, this episode kind of... Holy shit. Holy shit. Swear. I swear when I want to. You better be smiling. Alright, is there gonna be like a little act or chapter where we're on the boat? Cause that'll be really interesting. Oh shit. Oh wait. I'm gonna guess that there's not enough room for everybody. Holy shit, that's the drum, right? There's not enough Oh my god, that's that has to be it. There's not enough room for everybody. That has to be it. That has to be the drama. Oh man. I, I kind of hope that's the drama. That will be really interesting. Unless the boat doesn't work. Krista, how are you holding up? I'm okay. Vernon did what he could for Omid. But he's got a real infection and he's running a hell of a fever. I'm worried if we don't get some real medicine in him soon. Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Sorry. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? <sighs> you want the good news or the bad news? I think we could all use some good news. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taken us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? We should go back out on the street, see what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms, either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. We have a map. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? Ben, I don't up. know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? What's wrong with you, Ben? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Damn, this is gonna be exciting now. So far this episode's kinda been like... I told you to it. stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Sneaking in? Crawford.
I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better, and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Good morning, Tom. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? It's probably true. Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I want you close to me. Come on, Lee. Can't I come with you? Say yes. Say yes! I want to say yes. Uh, they gave me a big option here. Okay. You can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet. And do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. She's probably gonna sneak in by herself if I don't say yes. Okay, dang, this is so exciting. Like, it's some kind of espionage. It's kind of, kind of a raid. Okay, um... So we're still preparing, I guess? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six of us. And oh, man's gonna die. He's gonna be... Uh, okay. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? Not enough room. So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. How? Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. She has a hoodie. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Yes, I am. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Uh, thanks. Thanks, man. I think Molly is so cool looking. I wonder when they designed her. Was she like always supposed to be here? Or like did they write her like after episode, I don't know, two or three? This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it. And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Man. Can't get a good look above with the cover on. <laughs> Obviously. I imagine they booby trap this though. Like, why would they make this all clear? Okay, hold your breath. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. Yeah. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. This is all over. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. 
Oh jeez, this is so good. What the fuck? It's a fucking walker, I told you. This place isn't safe. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! So Savannah's not a safe place at all. 